The swimmer drowned in the swimming pool. It's too weird. And even more eerie, is that he even sent messages to his best friend after his death. Appoint her to meet at the place where she died tonight. The deceased walked into the swimming pool in fear for Xiaoyun and Xiaoyun. Here comes the more terrifying one. There was a faint sound coming from inside the museum. Sound stop. Xiaoyun slowly stood up. Here are the remains of Sissy and candles. Xiaoyun raised his hands and tightly grasped the worship. Suddenly, a figure appeared behind him. He turned his head suddenly in fear. It turned out that his roommate Ziu Xiao quietly mocked him, saying he doesn't know has always been great. But Ziyuan was puzzled. This is not what he arranged. Two people are confused. Is it really that Sissy has returned? A strange sound came from the swimming pool. Where does anyone swim in the middle of the night? They were so scared that their hair stood upright and dared not move forward. Slowly, the people in the swimming pool are coming out. It's my roommate Ying Ying. Everyone breathed a sigh of relief. It turned out that this day was his death day. With longing for thought, Ying Ying also comes to worship. Just then, it seems like a personal figure appears in the mirror. The three of them turned around in fear. The figure has disappeared again. At this point, swimming administrator Xiao Shuo walked in. He's here to repair the electric switch. But accidentally, he was electrocuted. Xiao Yun immediately ran out to seek help, but just got out of the locker room. He saw Sissy again. Sissy is lying in the swimming pool like when she died. He was so scared that he ran back quickly. But the two of them completely don't believe in ghosts in this world. Running, running. Xiaoyun suddenly felt a pain in her leg. It turned out to have been scratched while running away. He wants to go to the bathroom for a shower, but the spray from the shower turned out to be blood. A large character appeared on the misty mirror. Three-person brother, Head Seven returned to Seoul. They were scared. Want to leave here. But at this moment, Zilsu I slowly walked through the darkness. Speech and Action Bureau seemed to be exactly the same as Sissy. It's like being possessed. He pinched Ying Ying's neck. Questioning Ying Ying's actions towards Sissy, Ying Ying explained everything in detail. In order to compete for the championship in the swimming competition, he secretly gave Sissu cold medicine, make it difficult for him to pass the urine test, to eliminate competitors, won the championship. Looking back again, Little Tree seizes Ziu Xiao again. Originally Ziu Xiao had sprinkled medicinal powder on Sissu's clothes, causing a rash on Sissu's body, make him look ridiculous in front of the crowd, they are so insidious towards this roommate. This time, Sissy has finally returned for revenge. Next, the reflection of transforming into a novel shatters a mirror. He picked up the fragments and pulled Zioyan over, threatened him to kill the other two roommates. But how dare Xiao Yun? Just then, Zio Suai pushed him in a daze and rushed towards Ying Ying. With a knife, I pierced into Ying Ying's stomach. He can't stand up anymore. Meanwhile, the novel also revealed the truth. A day of contemplation. You've also been to the swimming pool before, this is the end of the matter. Xiaoyun doesn't want to hide anything anymore, he finally revealed the truth that led to Sissy's death. Originally, Sissy had always looked down on Xiaoyun's birthday and directly humiliated him. In a fit of anger, Xiaoyun gave him a push, but I didn't expect Sissy's head to crash into the guardrail and die. The matter is over, Xiaoyun is almost crazy, he's just blowing himself up trying to kill everyone. At the critical moment of aiming for a small chase, Xia Shuai flashed out from behind to block the next knife. Just then, Lin Yan walked out with her phone in hand. So they didn't die. The shoes on my body are all fake. All of this is a scam they designed. If they just want to trap Xia Yun, bring him to justice. This tragedy has finally come to an end. And on the other side, the story continues. This woman is taking off her clothes without restraint. Little did he know that there were a pair of eyes staring at him from behind. Men are ecstatic when they see it. This is already his nth time peeking at the woman across from him. He's obsessed with this sexy beauty, no matter what he's doing. Ah Wei needs to raise the camera. Even when applauding for love he wouldn't miss it. His incurable infatuation with women made him lose his mind. Ah Wei is always looking forward to seeing her. Until this day at the art exhibition. He achieved his wish. Turns out that women have the same profession as her. It's an art. Home. His name is Zio Hour. After some discussion, the two found it very pleasant to talk. After the screen ends, they left their contact information. Returning home, Oi raised the camera like before. Xiao Yao on the other side slowly took off his clothes. Just as he saw the excitement, my phone is ringing. It's news from Xiao Yao. He wants to invite Away to come and sit down. Away quickly packed up and rushed over. Under candlelight, the two are engaged in an exploration of art. Not for a moment. How many glasses of wine to drink? Xiao Yao told him a story. Turns out she was creating with her boyfriend. But I didn't expect my boyfriend to cheat later on. Xiao Yao didn't tell him the answer. Just gave him a gesture. It's too late to finish speaking. Xia Yao is going to a studio in the suburbs. Out of curiosity, Ah Wei also really wants to take a look. However, as soon as we arrived, he was stunned by the sight in front of him. Where is this studio? It's clearly an abandoned factory. All the lights in the factory suddenly turned off. And go inside? He actually saw the boss sleeping with Xia Yao. She was tied in the middle of the bamboo and couldn't move. Oi quickly went over to help him untie it. Just then, a man wearing a mask appears. 
so I quickly stepped forward and fought with him, in a state of panic. Ah Wei quickly ran away, but by this time Zio Ao had already come with a knife in his hand, so that gesture wasn't a joke, but actually killed my boyfriend. The reason why his carving is so successful, it's all because he used real people as materials. He launched an attack on Ah Wei. Ah Wei had to dodge in order to survive. He wants to run. But then the masked man came again. He raised his axe and waved it, but accidentally hit the switch. Lime pouring out from the roof of the building, wanted to be handed over to become a statue in an instant. The masked man hugged his head and cried bitterly. Then he took off his mask. Unexpectedly, it's my old classmate Xia Xie. Zioxi has been helping Zioa create over the years. Help him kill those who covet his beauty. Then capture the most painful moment and make a statue. Watching the beloved girl die, he lost control of his emotions. Kill away immediately. Critical moment. Fortunately, the police arrived. Turns out they've been eyeing this strange artist for a long time. I just haven't been able to scare the cat out of the water. The truth came to light this time. The farce has finally come to an end. But this incident also helped away recover for a long time. This day, bored, he returned to his family to float the bottle. Coincidentally, there is also a man on the other side clicking on the drifting bottle. After reading this story, he couldn't help but feel a thousand emotions. Another story captivated him. This is not an ordinary cardboard. Legend has it that any wish written on it can be fulfilled. Someone made a wish to win the lottery. Someone promises a promotion and salary increase. Embrace the beauty and return home. As a result, all these wishes came true. Only A Liang is still hesitating. Do you want to write it? A Liang is just a staff member of a small company. Every day's life is very difficult. Shooted by colleagues, being scolded by a perverted boss. But none of this made him feel melancholic and depressed. Instead, he has always been very kind and takes life seriously. Before, Liang was still like before. On my way home from work, I met an old lady burning paper. Liang saw her paper floating out. Quickly pick up and return interest. It's the old lady who thinks she's kind. I gave him six red papers as a reward, and tell him that any wish can come true. Liang looked at her sincerely. I didn't have the heart to refuse either. Always carrying the paper with you. Evening friend gathering. Liang started playing games with these papers. Everyone joked down their wishes. Everyone didn't take it seriously either. After being full of wine and food, he hurriedly left. On the way to work the next day, he met a woman, clear eyebrows and beautiful eyes, deeply attracted to her. But Liang is too lacking in confidence. I really dare not go and ask for contact information. I thought I would miss it. I didn't expect him to be a new employee. The woman's name is Zio Mei. He just came here to consult with Liang about the issue. But I didn't expect to be scolded by a perverted boss. When he saw him, Liang just heart is weak. And then he took Zio Mei and left. Take her into the office. Pull up the curtains continuing to pretend to care about the lives of employees, but there's a peeping camera plugged into the computer, after everything is over, he told Zio Mei that she could go now, not for a moment, the boss also left the office, and at this moment, A Liang received instructions, it was the CEO who asked him to copy files from his boss computer, A Liang, turn on the computer, what caught my eye was the peeping video, what if he hasn't reacted yet, the boss has already rushed in, he pulled out the USB drive and wanted to run, but he was knocked down by a colleague of A Liang and knocked him down to the ground, after this incident, boss dismissed. This hero, a young, was not praised. Any colleague who happens to pass by, meritorious in catching thieves, becoming a new leader. Not only that, but also, he also used his position to find Zio Mei, doing good deeds without reward. A young went back to the small stall alone to drink a smoothie. At this moment, my friend came. He told a young that he had finally obtained the license plate. There's another one that's even more outrageous. After that meal, he suddenly had a whim and bought a lottery ticket. Unexpectedly, I won 3 million yuan. After drinking and eating, everyone hurriedly left the table. A Liang also wrote down his desire to fall in love with Xiao Mimi as if he were fascinated. After turning the corner, he just met a colleague. A Liang hates his despicable behavior. The two had a dispute. When colleagues get excited, sudden heart attack. I just couldn't breathe in a moment. Looking up again, Chinese men were also killed by collisions. A Liang panicked. He wants to escape by boat. But then Xiao Mei appeared behind her comforting this tense-looking man. At this moment, Alien doesn't want anything, just want to escape reality, suddenly penetrated into his arms. And at this moment, the ship I was supposed to ride on was actually silent. Looking back, Zio Mei suddenly turned into that old lady. Then Alien woke up with a start. It turned out that everything was a nightmare. The next day, he caused something in real life, just like what happened in the dream. Aliang seems to have an external device on, unplug the boss hard drive and report directly, understand Zio Mei's preferences, and bravely took the first step. The two of them made rapid progress. A Liang counterattacked his life, and all of this is because of that drifting bottle. Do you have the courage to pick up that drifting bottle?